Well guys, as you see, it's negative one outside. Mountain Dew, please bring back my soda. I found this today. Guys, it's January 30th, 2019. This expired back September 3rd, 2018. Mountain Dew, please bring back my soda. Hello everyone, how are we doing tonight? This is Mike and I am busy playing with switching circuits. So uh, basically the way this guy works up, you hook up the wire to the back and then you've got a jack that comes in there. When the jack comes in, it pushes these uh, up and down and against the contacts. But you know, that isn't too, uh, isn't too exciting, but I wanted to show you something. Um, I looked at this the other night and it got me interested, got me thinking. These had, sorry, give me just a second. These had the same kind of contacts that I found in the uh, in the um, the organ that I took apart. And what I have found about these, and I don't know if it is uh, um, standard in the electronics world but it is standard with this company uh they have three different types this is made by uh made by switchcraft and they're online there's a large data sheet and they make three different types of contacts for their switches they have one kind which is gold and then they have another kind, which is the the uh, silver rivet button, which I'm sure you guys have seen. I may even want have one out here. Uh, oh, sorry, almost fell, guys. Um, da, 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 da. Well, let's, yeah, okay. Let's see if I can get it in the light to where you get. All right. You guys see that contact right in the middle of the screen? All right, that's a rivet type contact. And let's see if I got any more. At the slide contact there. Haven't uh, brought him out. And checked it yet, but I'll show you guys something here. The uh, the legs look really silver. See a little bit of tarnish there. So I am guessing those are going to be silver plated. Uh, they might be solid silver, but I doubt it. Um. Okay, here's another one. So, basically, most of your contacts, you're going to see silver button on one side. And if you flip it over, older styles, this will be silver all the way through. But newer, ah, what they do is they use a copper rivet and they put it through the piece of metal there usually brass or copper and then they plate put silver plate on top of the rivet okay now this company and I just read through their data sheets they use gold plated topped rivet 
silver plated top rivet or these kind and this is known as crossbar palladium contact and uh, I mean you guys can see my thumbnail there these guys are pretty small so like I said uh, as soon as I seen that I went and uh, looked it up because it's the same kind of contacts that was in that organ uh, that I took apart uh, last year at this time I believe but messing around I just broke down a whole bunch of phones and uh, these came out of it's a uh, oh what do you call that it, it was like a circuit breaker type system and it had uh, uh, in jack on one side and out jack on the other side and uh, wires going in a little switch uh, I looked him up too he's uh, brass with silver inlay um, This one is one of them kind of uh, spinning relays. And let's see, it had one other, oh, it had this kind of switch. And these are just going to be the uh, copper plate, or copper with silver plated ends. So, uh, yeah, when I seen this, I went and looked it up. Because now I've got some work to do here. Pull all this palladium off. And it depends. Sometimes these are, uh, you can just hit them with your cutters and they'll pop right off. If that's the case, then I'll just run through and do all that. Uh, other times, you just got to cut the whole thing off. Let's go ahead and see what kind we have here. And sorry, this wasn't even part of the what I was gonna do, but I got you on here, so might as well, right? I'll clip it like that, and then just turn it sideways and. Ah, I got it to move a little bit. And I lost half of it. So the best thing to do is do this over a uh, container, if you couldn't tell. Well, guys, it's really hard to get that to focus. But I did get it to move. So I'm going to run through here and do a few of these. And uh, just thought I'd share with you. I, uh... The wife discontinued, uh, she had a pack of phones with the, uh, the secretary side, which is these things, you call it the secretary assistant or something like that, sits on the side of the phone so she can send it to different lines. But we've had these on eBay now for over a year, so she brought them out and said, destroy them. Of course, you know, me being the happy guy that I am, I was like, yeah! And then, uh, also got these, which uh, I haven't done a silver video in a while. Maybe I will with these guys. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the palladium contacts. Uh, might be... I'm going to try and send some videos out. I, uh, uh, the junk removal business, I just got a trip going to uh, California. One of my regular customers hired us to uh, help her move out there. And I know, before you guys talk about regulations, I've already spoken with PUCO and uh, Department of Transportation and getting my uh, state permit this that and the other so yeah it's all being done on the up and up and legally because I don't want to take any chances with my business so hopefully 
We'll do a little bit of sightseeing, and I can uh, post some of those videos, too. So, this is Mike. You guys have a great week and weekend, and I'll see you when I get back. All right, guys, I'm back here just for a second. I forgot to uh, mention something. I want to show you guys a really cool tip. I was going through these phones. By the way, they're Avaya phones. A-V-A-Y-A. Alright, what do you got there? You got IDE pens, right? Now, IDP, IDE pens suck pulling them. Unless... See that right there? These pens are not through-hole pens. Alright, we've got IDE pens here. But these guys go all the way through. Alright? These right here are not going all the way through they are soldered right to the top of the board but wait wait ain't that pretty look at that gold anyway so these guys sometimes you can take them and just push them back and forth and get them to pop off all right, but this is only the kind that are soldered straight to the board. I can do that all day long with this guy and just do nothing but tear up my fingers. So I want to show you that real quick. And then now I'm going to let my daughter hold the camera a second. Hi, everybody. So I wanted to show you this. Um, on these kind of switches you'll find these in a lot of things sometimes microwaves uh industrial equipment stuff like that you know i was telling you earlier how this is called a crossbar palladium contact well i wanted to show you give you a better look at how i do this so what i do is i put my side cutters on and i, sc I scoot it up until the contact stops then I close it and then I twist it while I've got pressure on it and then it basically just scoots it off and then a lot of times you find it right on the end of the side cutter and that's it while it doesn't look like much you know this right here is what I've done in just a few minutes and that's not foils guys that's uh that's palladium you know it's got the same weight ratio basically not as high as gold not as high as platinum I don't think so I think it's somewhere around 17 uh, I know gold is 19 platinum is 20 as far as density goes but if you ever come across these remember if it's circle it's going to be gold plated or silver plated but if it's got those little crossbars it's more than likely going to be palladium and that my friends is how you do a video in three minutes before you gotta leave so guys take care and I'll see you when I get back from the sunshine state Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> You're welcome.